<clears throat> there we go. We're live. We're live everywhere. How's everybody doing today? It's a little quiet. We'll get started here in just a minute. Just let some people come on in, say hi before we uh, start talking through stuff. What's up, Ricky Bobby? How we doing? Michael, what's up? Good to see you, good to see ya. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Doing, doing pretty good. I, uh, so, fun story. I'm lactose intolerant, like pretty severely so. And uh, I forgot to ask about something that I got in my poke bowl today. Turns out it had sour cream. So today's gonna be interesting. We'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. As soon as I got done eating, I like immediately drove home super fast and took some lactates. so. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be all right. But you know, you never really know. We're gonna find out. <laughs> yeah, it's not fun, it's for sure. But you know, could be, uh, it might be okay. Um, also, at some point during the stream today, someone's supposed to come and pick up a computer case. So we might have to pause for a, for a hot minute. Um, when they get here, but uh, it shouldn't take very long. We already like agreed on a price and everything, so it should be uh, should be pretty quick. Dr. Beamer, what's up? Playing the dangerous game. I know. We'll see. I took uh, yeah, I took the like the lactates like right away. It seems like it. It seems like it, it, it did the trick. Uh, I did bring like a fun pill just in case uh, we need. But hopefully we won't need that. Hopefully we'll be fine. <laughs> Alrighty. So, should we... Uh, I forgot to update the specs uh, command, you guys. Oh, no. Hold on. Give me like... Jatana, what's up? Leander, what's up? Sorry, I forgot to update the, uh, the Botrix command for the specs. I need to do that right now. Otherwise, when, when Richard gets here, he's going to yell at me. You guys, you don't understand. You don't understand. Settings, chat bar. Uh, that one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Commands, specs. You guys, I have to update this every single time and it's kind of a pain. Can't read your guys' comments right now, but I just know that I'm here and I'm uh, doing my best. Okay. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. So close. Okay, we did it. All right, I'm back. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. There we go. Okay. There we go. Now, now, if you wanted to, you can type in exclamation point specs, or you can just listen to me as I walk you through what's in today's build. First, we've got a Ryzen 7 7700X. This is an eight core AM5 CPU. Got, oop, got 30, oop. 
We've got 32 gigs of RAM. <laughs> got 32 gigs of RAM DDR5 from uh, G Skill. We've got a two terabyte SSD. It's a crucial P3. Um, got this nice ASUS Tough B650 with Wi Fi. Got a 4060 Ti, 750 watt power supply. And then we've got this Team Group uh, 360 millimeter AIO. And then this is all, so you might notice this is all like kind of black components. We're putting this in a white case. It's gonna look good. It's gonna look good, you guys. Like really good, it's gonna look really good, okay? You're just gonna have to trust me on that one. But yeah, so black interior, white case. It's gonna look so nice, the contrast. Okay, let's uh, let's get started on the build. Let's just, let's just get right into it, okay? For like something terrible happens with my lactose intolerance, okay? Should look good, oh, it's gonna look good. It's gonna look good, girl dad. It is gonna look good. Um, but yeah, fun fun story. If you didn't, if you weren't here in time, um, I accidentally ate something with uh, dairy in it today, and I'm pretty severely lactose intolerant. Did take some lactates afterwards, like I ran home and got, took some, but like, who knows? Who knows if that's gonna do the trick or not? You know, could be an interesting stream today. <laughs> And then a customer is supposed to come at some point and pick up a, a computer case that I've got sitting on, right next to the door. So we will have to have a quick pause at some point to take care of that, but that should be pretty quick. Hope you guys aren't lactose intolerant because this build is going to be legendary. Well, good thing for me, it's not my build, so. I don't have to worry about it being full of legendary, you know? Alrighty. Let's get this Asus Tough B650 motherboard out of here. Oh yeah. That looks good. Some stickers to get off of here. It kind of looks like we do. Kind of looks like we do. Yeah. That looks like it has a sticker on it somewhere. Yeah, it does. Oh, what? That's not a sticker? I could have sworn that was a sticker. This looks like it. Like, it doesn't look quite as nice as you would expect from Asus. I just assumed it was a sticker, okay. I guess not. That's a sticker for sure. But I could have swore that this would have been a sticker, y'all. It's not, you lift that up and like the, oh, wait, got it from this side. Maybe I didn't get it right last time. There we go. Boom. See, I was right. It had a sticker. You doubted me. Uh, my boot drive died in the middle of CFD runs trying to get the data off because it kept restarting straight to the BIOS. Putting a two terabyte 990 Evo. Ooh. You should, uh, you should consider doing it in RAID or something. So you have like a one-to-one. -one. Time to learn the tips and tricks of where to leave secrets in PCs. <laughs> Shut it. I've only ever done that to one computer and it was my own, all right? Like, especially if you're, if you have a lot of like important data stored on there, might be worth it. AD coming in with the exclamation point specs. Today's build, Ryzen 7 7700X, a team group Siren 360 millimeter AIO. ASUS Tough Gaming B650 Plus Wi-Fi G-Skill Triton Z Z5 RGB CL3264100 2x16 Gigabyte Crucial P3 2 terabyte ASUS Dual 4060Ti Fantex G360A White and a Seasonic Focus GX750. Impressed. Impressed. All right. 
Oh, interesting. There's like some, some like cloudiness. Like they left some flux or something on the on the CPU die. Huh. Don't usually see that outside of like the IHS. And that could be all it is. It could just be you're used to it being inside the IHS and you don't get to see it, but. No? Okay. There we go. 7700X installed. Done. Uh, I need to get it running. Then I need to get some, something. Oh, parity RAID drives, especially since both my SSDs are two terabytes now. I've got to get data off that before. Yeah, for sure. Hey man, don't post it if you don't want to roast it. No, I know. I, it's, it was just good content, you know? You can't, you can't like have something like that happen and like not find it funny and not post it, right? Like it's too funny. It's too funny to, to leave on the table. So I get it. I get it. You remembered this time. That's right. Uh, I don't know if you remember telling me the story of me crushing my socket pins. Um, yeah, I, you told me like that you like pulled, pulled your CPU out or whatever and like found that a bunch of the pins were all bent, but I didn't know that like, you didn't really tell me that like you knew you did it or whatever. Best Buy did take it back and gave you a refund. Hey, let's go. That's pretty awesome. And surprising. <clears throat> Yo, what's up, Mr. Rainbow? It's afternoon here in the land of potatoes. You're using thermal paste. You're using a thermal plate aftermarket and I crushed it. Oh, okay, that's right, that's right. I'm kind of surprised that they, uh, kind of surprised that they really let you return that. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, there's our two terabyte SSD. It's a crucial P3, um, which is a Gen 3 SSD. So not not blazing fast, but in terms of price to like amount of storage and still being a reasonable speed, it's a very good deal. It's only like 107 or 110 dollars for all that all that goodness. This other light isn't even on, you guys. What are you, what are you doing to me? What are you letting me do here? Oh, there we go. Bring the brightness down just a little bit. Okay. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I need to finish that. So my bro, they inspected and said, okay, wow, that's awesome. I mean, as long as like, you're not, it's not like you duped them, like you told them, hey, here you go. It's on them at that point. Today's best advice, if you have coffee, do not spill it on your computer. It's great advice. It's definitely, definitely words to live by. Nine ninety Evo was on sale for one forty nine. That's a great deal too. Yeah, it's hard when you're like, when you're building budget systems that, you know, if you just had like $300 more in your in the system, like you could get so much, like you get so much better specs, um, like the 990 versus this, like it's just, I wish I had that much, just that little bit much more to spend on, on some of these PCs, but you know, gotta respect, gotta respect the customer's budget. What's up lemons? Wait, caffeine doesn't supercharge it? It does not, believe it or not. Uh, I keep my PC higher than my coffee cups are kept for that reason, smart. What are you doing? How you doing, Juice for Mama? Upgraded from i7 11th gen DDR4 to a fifth, uh, i5 13th gen DDR5. Dude, the performance jumping to DDR5 and to like 13th gen is incredible. Um, that's exactly how you end up with 10K PCs. I mean, you're not wrong. 
Okay, you're not wrong. But like going from like a sixteen or seventeen hundred dollar PC to like a two thousand dollar PC, I mean it's huge. The stuff you can do. Ricky Bubby. Uh, howdy, howdy. Good, love your builds. They're all beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I think you're gonna like this one too. This one is gonna be a little more interesting. Um, so this is the entire, all the interior components are gonna be black, um, but the case is like snow white. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Wait, can I have a 10K PC? You can buy a 10K PC for sure. I will allow it. Okay, speaking of cases, let's get this one out here. Okay. So this is today's case. You'll notice, notice, oh. You'll notice the contrast, white, black, white, black, okay? So, oh, we're also gonna take this off. We were gonna take that off. Um, okay. Now I need my special little rubber tool here. Nope, oh, that took the whole, that one to take the whole sticker off. We're supposed to be able to get the plastic off. There we go. Okay. Oh, don't do that to me. There we go. Long time. There we go, we got it. Do you know how you can get the 10K PC for $9,500? How do you do that? Steal it? All right. So, this is a Fantex G360A in white. RGB fans up front. And that's what we're putting all this wonderful gear into. How do you do it, Captain's Vlog? How do you do it? Is that like trying to put 10 pounds of sugar in a five pound sack? It just doesn't work? Man, they really like tighten these things down at the factory. Sorry, I thought that was, I thought that was Girl Dad again. Um, that was commenting, because you guys have like the exact same color um, like profile picture. It took me a minute to realize that it was Navy coming in on the captain's vlog. How we doing, Navy? Yo, what's up, Mark? How we doing? Richard, welcome. What up, you bot? I'm a bot who totally set up the exclamation point specs before uh, starting the stream today. So don't check the bot. Uh, but I totally did it, totally did it. Right, let's get our accessories box out here. Um, yeah, yours' profile pictures are literally like, I mean, they're both just white. They're not, it's not like they look identical if you actually look at them up close, but um, from how far away I am and how small they are on my screen, uh, it's very easy to overlook that they're two different things. Um, but yeah, you could maybe you could buy a 10K PC if you want. I'll let you do it. But now that you ask, I do know how you could get a $10,000 PC for $9,500. You uh, use code crew PC5. Whose PC is this? This is for uh, Mr. Narlos. Uh, if you're on Facebook or part of some of the communities you might know, you might know of him, but uh, yeah, this is, this is Mr. Narlos's PC today. If you build a PC like they do potato chips. You can just put as much as you can inside the case. That's fair. Uh, I just started up again, built a big overcompensated build if you ever wanna game it up, my dude. Yeah, there you go. The only way to do it is to overdo it, All right?
Just gotta keep an eye on my phone. Somebody said they couldn't find me on YouTube from Facebook. Oh. Learn how to spell it right. Yeah, Narlis is a good dude. Uh, don't judge, but I started on a $900 Lenovo pre-build. Oh yeah, that is a, it's a mistake for sure. Chat, ask Red about his two-year cooler blender. I don't think we need to. I don't think we need to. <laughs> but if you wanna see the video, I'll show it to you. If you want to. All right. Let's get this uh, motherboard bolted down. I don't think anyone needs to know. I don't, I don't think they want to know. You guys, just, you guys don't want to know about my two-year CPU cooler blunder, do you? Right? You guys don't want to see that. Yeah, this is a great case, maybe. It really is. And it's a great deal. Like, I think they're... I don't know if they're like discontinuing this line or like, I know they're kind of not not uh, doing some of the other ones of this this line, but um, they're pretty darn cheap right now. They're like 80 bucks. So I'm guessing there's no garbage under your table. That's the floor. Yeah, uh, there's three boxes underneath me. So there's um, an old motherboard box, and that's what I use for all the stuff that we're keeping that's gonna get shipped to the customer. So there's that one. Next to it is a garbage can that's more like small stuff. And then next to that is like my recycle bin. That's where I put all the big boxes. I know you're just being facetious, but... But, uh, yes, there is actually more than one can underneath my desk. Yo, what's up, Goofy? The build is going good. I mean, we haven't gotten too far. We're just kind of, kind of just getting started. But this is a pretty, should be a pretty straightforward build today. As long as we can fit the, uh, as long as we can fit the AO on top, it'll go real nice and fast. All right. Just couldn't quite see that last bolt in the corner there. Just messing around, super organized. I see. Eh, somewhat organized. How about that? Richard's really, really, really interested in the specs. <laughs> Kicks eating your comments. We're getting them. Um, at least the exclamation point specs ones. Uh, so it could just be, you might want to reload the, the app or something. At least I got all three of them. I don't know if it's different for you guys. There, this should make it easier to see. Oh, it does. Dad's joke number 309, what do you call a snowman who's old? We call him water, unless you live in Canada. Then you call him dirty snowman. Time should I aim for being ready? Another hour? Uh, at least, yeah, at least another hour. Okay. Let's get this off to the side. We got our motherboard installed. So let's get this off to the side. And we will get, oh God, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to bump into that. Uh, we will get, where am I gonna put this? Over here again. Uh, we'll get Lazy Susan out. That's what I was gonna say. We're gonna get Susan out of here. I really need a longer cord for this LED. Really do. Specs for today's build are right there. You can see them. Use code REDONLYFANS5, that's right. All right, there we go. Susan's out, she's ready to go. Look at this. Okay, sounds good.
Don't forget to hit that like button. I think my voice just cracked. <clears throat> Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on YouTube. It uh, supposedly helps the stream out. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing over here, so I'm just gonna have to believe Navy because he knows what he's doing over here. All right, got our HD audio connected. Let's take a look over here on the side. Somewhere over here should be, yep, our USB 3. Uh, just keeping an eye on my phone in case that guy gets back to me. Right, so there's no USB 3.2, that's fine, that's fine. Totally fine. Um, okay, so. RGB, so this is gonna be the RGB 4, specifically for the case and the case fans. So we'll get that connected in. There's one down here. We got two on top, interesting. I have sneeze. <laughs> that was a big one. Sorry, I faced towards you guys for that. <laughs> That's my bad. I was thinking about not sneezing into the camera or onto the computer. <laughs> um, better beat that shipping deal. It's moonshine. No one can tell me otherwise. No one can tell me otherwise. Yeah, I don't know how to act drunk. I know how to get drunk. I don't know how to act drunk, sorry. Okay, so we've got USB, we've got our HD audio, we've got that RGB connected in there. Um, let's get our fans connected in down here. We've got plenty of fan ports on this motherboard. Got this one right here. So we got one, there's two. Uh, we can use this one for three. And we should be good. Where's the... Okay. Cool. All right. So here's one. And two is going to go down at the bottom as well. Yeah. Two goes right here. Only way to get that free shipping. Yeah. Thank you, Leander. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's find our switches here for our front panel. I only see power, and that might be it. Okay, it's, it's well and truly all. Okay, so let's squeak that on up through here, and yeah, the front panel is this one. Okay, there's our power switch. We've got our. Uh, two of our fans connected in so far. Okay, here's our third fan to connect in. This one's gonna go somewhere up here in the middle. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll use this same opening here. Go like that. Yeah. Yo, Mark, thank you for the gifted sub. Rail Zeno, hello, hello, welcome in. RGB fans are remote control, but it doesn't work. I'm stuck with the colors it came stock with. Oh no. Um, you could buy a new controller for them, maybe. Maybe. Probably get a new controller for a few bucks. Don't think it would cost too much. Okay, so let's get it. Got a little tiny bit of cable management going go here. Oh, okay, I got a... <clears throat> All right, there we go. <clears throat> so this one, I'm just gonna kind of stick over there for now. Everything that's kind of in here, I mean, it's not it's not perfect at the moment, but you know, we're just trying to get it to be 
not chaos, as we start adding more things in. Let's do our CPU power next, because uh, that is definitely going to get blocked by our CPU cooler. Yeah, I, I know I've had to do that for for other computers in the past, so you know it's worth uh, it's worth looking into if I mean, if you really want to change your colors. <clears throat> uh, 100% moonshine says Dr. Beamer. You know, who knows? Who knows? I'm gonna try a battery first and then look into the new controller. Oh yeah, yeah, that might be a good idea. You think they designed case holes for structure or wire management? No, sometimes they do. <laughs> sometimes they do. All right, so I, need, I do need a SATA cable. I don't think I need any of these other ones. If all the cases would build wire management, this would be too easy. It's fair. The building part would, would be easy, but uh, you know, the hard part is still making sure you uh, pick the right stuff. Okay, power supply. Got a GPU cable right there. And we're good to go. What did that just drop on my foot? Oh, another random cable. Okay. Okay. Uh, I have looked all in this rig for RGB control. No luck. Uh, it should just be on software, bro. I just don't remember, what, I don't remember what motherboard, you need to tell me what motherboard you have and I can tell you what software to use. <clears throat> Cause I know you have the Lee and Lee case. Uh, what do you think of the idea of having a wireless motherboard? <clears throat> oh, you mean like all the ones that are just like on the back side of it? So that's not really wireless, that's just hidden wires. Yeah, Lemons, just tell me what motherboard model you have, or brand at least. I thought it was an MSI, I, but I mean, it's been long enough, I don't remember off the top of my head. Should be able to just look at it and see a logo somewhere. All right, CP power cable installed. I don't need to install this other stuff just yet. Okay, just kind of stick this back here. Now let's get our CPU cooler out. <clears throat> MSI mag, yeah, it's just inside of MSI Center then. Just open up MSI Center. Go to the Mystic Light feature, and that's how you change your uh, RGB, bro. It's freezing. What's up, Mark Wagner? How we doing? Uh, what specs does this PC have? Uh, Relzino, type in exclamation point specs. Yeah, it, B650 is, yeah. Yeah, MSI Center, 
MSI Mystic Light. Boom. <clears throat> Super easy. Today's specs for the build. A Ryzen 7 7700X. Team Group Siren GD360E. This thing in my hand. The Asus Tough B650 Plus Wi-Fi. A G-Skill Trident Z RGB CL32 6400 2x16 gigabyte kit of RAM. A 2 terabyte SSD, which is hidden behind this. An Asus Dual RTX 4060 Ti on the floor right now. A Fantex G360A case in white. And a 750 watt power supply from Seasonic. Uh, when are we going to get you to dive into Helldivers? Bro, I don't have time. I barely have time to play the games that I already know. I definitely don't have time to learn a new game. I literally play like four, maybe five hours of games a week. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. All right, so the plan is we'll stick this right up here if we can fit it. Just like that. Look at that, perfect, perfect. Cool? Cool. All right. So, I guess first we should move this guy over to the other side. And I remember when you used to stream every day. I know. But now I actually try and like make content and stuff <laughs> rather than just streaming because streaming, uh, Streaming only really gets you so far these days. Unless you're already a really big streamer, then like it does okay, but. Dude, why is this so tight? It's supposed to fit through here. That's what this is for. Come on, come on. Why is that? There's a, literally a channel right here for this, but it's so tight in there. But I can't get it in. Can't get the wire in there. Maybe I can like separate it out a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, can I do anything here? I don't want to break anything. I don't want to ruin my nice new. Uh... I don't want to ruin this nice new. Radiator, but like, what the heck, man? We're just gonna have to like squish it on top like that? That seems not cool. Let's try this. Bro called MC. They said you bought all the 4090s. I wish, man. I wish. I had a micro center. You know how sad I am about not having a micro center, Turk. But if you need one, I can hook you up. <laughs> I actually bought them all and reselling them on Facebook Marketplace and eBay. <laughs> yeah. With your 40% positive reviews over the last 12 months on, on uh, Amazon. All right, that's gonna have to be good enough. It's not ideal, but I'm concerned I'm gonna break this freaking cable if I push any harder. You are my micro center? Done, deal. Love it. Uh, does that have the pump in the radiator? It sure does. Exclamation point specs, didn't work. Sorry. Uh, you're gonna get my back blown out real quick at the character. <laughs> I don't think that's the right term there, Turk. <laughs> Unless the chiropractor is also your wife. In which case, you're more than welcome to do that. What's up, girl dad? That's what she said. I didn't say it, all right? Turk started it, not me. 
Bracket420 coming in with a follow. Appreciate that. Okay, what do we need out of here? Pretty sure this thing just uses... Yeah. Okay, so we need this guy. And then we need those. And that should be it besides the bolts that hold that on. Need those. This guy. And then we can use this RGB three to one if we want to. Okay. Oh, and we definitely need that. Okay, that's it. We don't need anything else in this baggie. Hi, I'm the chiropractor. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? Hi, I identify as a chiropractor. <laughs> Wait, what? Turk, thank you for coming in with a follow. Imagine Turk being in here not already following. My name's UPS. <laughs> UPS definitely knows how to how to blow out people's backs. That's for sure. <laughs> Didn't know you streamed on Kick. You thought you were just on YouTube. Well, here's the thing. Um, I try and push for YouTube more because I've been trying to grow more there. But no matter what I seem to do, while I'm streaming at least, Kick seems to do better. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't really know. I mean, I'm definitely gonna keep pushing YouTube because that's gonna be my, you know, my primary home for anything like edited, like any long form and short form video. But it doesn't seem to matter what I do. Kick just seems to do better uh, than YouTube on my live stream. So whatever. I'll even come back and someone's getting their backbone out. Sweet Jesus. I know. What a time. What a time. Uh, when you're done with the PC bill, can I come in right after you're done? Oh, yeah, shoot. Um, hold on, I'm gonna pause real quick, you guys, and I'm gonna get, get this guy his computer. Oh, wait, this is somebody else. Hold on one minute. So the guy sounded very sure that he was gonna come. And I don't know where he was coming from, so. We'll see, okay. Subscribed on YouTube as well? Thank you. Appreciate it, Bracket. Um, then he shouldn't come. Yo, Sweaty Lobo coming in with the sub. Appreciate you. Over to It's Turk, what's up? Yeah. Turk follows and immediately gets gifted a sub. Feels bad. Uh, then he couldn't come. Wait, I missed something. I missed something, Turk. I'll go get them all for you if you need. If I do need, if I'm like in, in desperate need, I will definitely, uh, I will hit you up. Yo, Mr. Rainbow, come in with the $10 dondo. You can only get these on YouTube, that's right. Bro, thank you so much. Oh yeah, I said some guy was supposed to come here um, to buy, well, it's actually this exact same case. 
Um, he called me earlier today and said he was like, it sounded like he was like on his way, so I don't know where he's coming from, but he's not here still, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Uh, you have a cam from looking from top. Yep, so we've got front cam, my camera up there. We've got top down. I, I could leave the front on there or, or not. And then we've got the rear camera. We've got it all. I want to swap this out at some point probably for another like actual like mirrorless camera. Um, I got this one for this Elgato cam for real cheap though. So we're gonna use it for now. And then at some point I will get, uh, at some point I will convince myself that I need to spend the several hundred dollars to, uh, to get the, uh, the other actual camera. Pick up the interaction chat. Yeah, come on faster. More, more comments. I want more. There's the IO pump. There's the CPU fan right there. Okay, got that. Cool. Uh, what case do you recommend for the best airflow? Uh, it really depends on the rest of your specs. Uh, it it kind of depends on like what you can fit in there. Um, do you have like a budget in mind or any sort of like aesthetics? I would say one of my favorite cases that has great airflow, is really big, um, super easy to work in is the Lee and Lee Landcool 3 mesh. It's huge. Uh, it's got, yeah, super versatile. It looks pretty good. Got tons of space. Yeah, good cable management features. I really like that one. Your rear cam is frozen. Son of a nutcracker. Why you do this? Must have bumped it or something. Seems like it does that occasionally. I wonder if my, I wonder if my motherboard's uh, USB like power output is struggling a little bit. But good comms, Mark. Good comms. Vibes for sure. You're gonna what, Sweaty? You're gonna what? Oh, Sweaty's gonna come. <laughs> so you're getting close to that 450 sub goal. Yeah, we just added in all of the people who like got the free entries in uh, the last stream too. Um, but yeah, either way, we're giving it away at the end of this month, so. I will definitely, any, any uh, gifted subs and stuff from today, uh, I will add to the tally. Um, as far as like getting you entries and everything. Mr. Rainbow dropped a $300 donation the other day. So he got himself a lot of entries. Um, he does live very far away though. So if he wins it, he'll have to cover some of the shipping costs because <laughs> it definitely only covers US shipping. Stick this through here. Um, before I put this on, I actually want to see if I can completely route this uh, this uh, pump fan thing in because it's going to get completely blocked from behind here. Let's see if we can get that in here. Oh yeah, we got lots of space for that. There we go. Okay. Perfect. I will definitely cover the shipping costs and buy me a cup of coffee. All right. Now we're talking. 
Now we're talking. It doesn't mean he automatically wins, chat. Don't worry. I'm not biased. Because technically, while he did donate that money to me, it was actually for B's, B's Riot to get her PC. So, you know. It's not quite the same. It's not quite the same as he just gave it to me. I'm not saying he did a bad thing. I think it was great. It's just so you know the level of bias that we're dealing with here. I didn't keep any of that money, okay? YouTube kept some of it because they're greedy, but I didn't. Enjoy the rest of the bill. Catch you uh, the rest of the stream later. All right, thank you, man. Appreciate you hopping in here, Mark. We will see you later. Uh, just let you know, the boss gave me the go-ahead on getting a PC, so I'll be texting you later about specs. Yes. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. All right. We got all those fish through. Let's get, oh, how did we do this last time? There we go, there we go. Now we're talking, okay. Let's pull these kind of tight through here. All right. Now we gotta get this, this guy off for a minute. It's in, bring it on down. Bring it around town. My ears are burning, what's up, bees? Welcome in, bees. I didn't say anything mean towards you. You were just talking about how incredible Mr. Rainbow is, okay? That's all. I should also state that um, my mod, Mr. Richard Villain, also donated his case and a couple of Lee and Lee fans for bees to, to help get her PC, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Hello, it's going good. It is going pretty good. Can't wait for your day, yeah. Some of the parts have started showing up. Gonna be, it's gonna be here, that day will be here before you know it. What's up Hatfield, how we doing? He is a rainbow, he is truly a rainbow. All right, well I don't really have to worry about maneuvering this thing around because it really only fits in one spot in this top of this case. Lee and Lee case, no, this is a Fantex uh, G360A. MJ, how we doing? All right, there we go. It's in there. Boom. Hidden. All right, now we gotta swap this guy out here. Oh, you know what else we need to do? So we need to fish this little guy here through. Oh wait, let's do this first. Okay, fish this guy through here. space in here. There, oh no, I almost had it. There we go, okay. So this is gonna have to connect into the pump, um, but first, gotta connect this in. You're doing. 
<laughs> uh, it's an honor and a blessing to help anybody in the world. Happy to help you, peace. Stop, I'm crying. Hey. We won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. This Mr. Rainbow's awesome. Sounded crunchy. Sounded kind of crunchy. Okay. Got that connector in there. It does resemble Alien Lee a little bit. Um, but it's got that very uh, quintessential Fantex front to it. Okay, I'm gonna put these in my little tray here because we only need a couple of these bolts. Just need these two guys. Okay, bees, I can't read that without thinking about um, Ricky Bobby <laughs> from Tell Dig and Isaac. I feel, I feel it, crowd to be blast. Or no, no, it's not Ricky Bobby. It's um, it's his character in The Office. It's Will, Will Ferrell's character in The Office when he like puts his headphones on and then gives his speech to the the people of The Office. <laughs> I feel incredibly blessed. Shoulder cam froze. Shoulder cam froze again? I wonder if it's in the wrong port. I uh, cleaned, as you, as you guys might know, I cleaned my, uh, I cleaned my, um, my streaming PC today. Oh wait, no, it's only, there's only one port. It's in the front. It's in the front USB-C port. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, is it working still? We're still working? Okay, we're good. All right, I can take this out, don't need it. Look, I give you money and help you out, and now you're frozen again. <laughs> Thanks to everybody involved. Yes, you're welcome. I cried like a baby. Talk about it on, on my stream that night. Oh, love that. Love it. Maybe I should give you a couple bucks and you can buy a new camera. I have a new camera in mind. It's just very expensive. So... I'm gonna essentially get myself another like one of the something like this. It's uh, but it's gonna be a Sony ZE ZV E10 um, from from a buddy of mine. He can get a get me a new one for like a little less than like normal cost, and then um, but then I gotta buy a lens for it, and the lenses are also expensive. Like we're talking the one that I'm looking at, the lens is like twelve hundred dollars. Hence the reason why I haven't bought it. Okay, so we're going a little Arctic MX-6 here. Because it's the one that stood out to me. It's the one that spoke to me. Okay. All right, gonna get a bunch of that junk on there. We didn't get any on our fingers this time. Go me, go me. Okay, got our little spatula out here. Uh, I need to get a, uh, I need to get a paper towel real quick. One second, one second. Okay. Here we go. All right. Got my paper towel. Uh, did someone say Ricky Bobby? Well, I was talking about Ricky Bobby from the movie Talladega Nights, yes. But I was wrong. I wasn't. I meant to sit, talk about. Uh, it's his character from The Office that I was quoting. I can't remember his name though. Was oh D'Angelo, D'Angelo Vickers. Uh, one of these days I'm gonna get a backup PC altogether and fired up. Really need to do a few wipe and restore on the main one. Truly is a Reddick engineer PC if you didn't get compound on your fingers though. You know, 
You might be right, but it's really nice to not have to try and wipe off the, the thermal compound off my fingers. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain. All right, that is a nice thin, nice thin layer thermal paste on there. It's beautiful. It's gray. We're gonna take off this peel. See that, Richard? I took the peel off. You're buying a camera that's so offensive. Oh, expensive, sorry. <laughs> um, <clears throat> be sure to let her mod know. Oh, let my mod know, yeah, yeah. He's, well, he was in chat. I don't know if he's still in chat. It was a height Y60 case, two Fantex 140 millimeter case fans, two Lee and Lee Uni 140 fans and two 120 fans. Yeah, and some RGB strips. Lots of things. Sorry, I'm doing many things at once, no problem. Oh, there's Richard right there. Richard Villanueva. You can thank him yourself. Like not, not like in a mean way, you can thank him yourself, but like, there he is. You can thank him yourself now if you want. All right. Come on. There we go. I love the AMD mounting system, it's so easy. Look how easy that is. connected in there. All right, we're gonna have a couple more power cables to, to connect in a minute, but let's work on all of our CPU cooler cables. There's a lot of them. It's a lot of them. I've also hidden chat window because all of these things are in the way. Um, do you have to change the water in those cooling systems? No. No, they, they do, you know, <clears throat> like any water cooling system, they do tend to slowly lose a little bit of coolant over time, um, but it should be small enough to like survive the, the operating, or like the warranty window. And then they do have like service ports on them if you wanna try and refill them after a few years. It's like, you don't technically have to replace the water, but eventually like some water does kind of make its way out, you know? Um. Yo, what's up, whiskey? How we doing? It has been a been a hot minute. It's good to see you, though. Okay, let's get these fan cables in over here. So we're gonna run those like so for the moment. Okay, got those over here. Cool. All right, RGB cable time. So, got a lot of extra cable length because these RGB cables are really long. And those do fit together really nicely though. I do like that. Okay, there's one. That's a fan cable. Um, here's another. Hopefully my yeah, camera's still working. Being a little finicky today, so just ignore that. Okay. And here's number 
three. Yeah, normally I would stick like a a piece of electrical tape on on these style of cables, but they're these ones are so tight and it really isn't necessary. Those are those are really nice and nice and together there. Okay, next comes the fun part. Gotta use a few zip ties up here. Uh, which company gave the extra liquid for the AO? That was Be Quiet. Um, gonna go finish Love is Blind so I can understand the memes. Bye. <laughs> See you later. That is hilarious. I have not watched that show. I really don't know anything about it, to be honest. Can someone tell me what the premise of that show is, please? And why people are so obsessed with it? Look at that. Look at that. Okay, let's get a let's get a cable tie up there in that corner. I got a couple small ones from Sea Sonic here, but I think I think I'll just grab some more of the big ones. Have you ever considered a waterless coolant? Uh, such as what? Like air? What do you mean by waterless coolant? It's a coolant in the hot rod world. Twice the boiling point of water no cavitation, it's heat transfer is more efficient by a lot. Um, yeah, I don't really know anything about it. Be interested to know what it's like viscosity is. Like, would you need an entirely different pump for it? Um, how expensive is it? What does it look like? I don't do a lot of uh, water cooled builds anyway, so not like it matters, but. Hope you didn't miss too much. You missed everything, Andrew. No, I'm just kidding. It's fine. Uh, you were playing some Modern Warfare 3 with Sieves the other day. We played Infected Mode and I killed him three times with my throwing knife as a zombie and he got pissed. Uh, which one do you think is better, water or air? Um, 
It just kind of depends on, kind of just depends on the person. Like, do you want it to be like last forever with basically no maintenance? Do you want like quieter operation and steadier temps? Um, how do you want it to look? You can get really good air coolers that are as good as the, some of the best AIOs on the market, so. That's kind of, yeah, you can get either one. But if you try and compare those to like a custom water cooling loop, yeah, water cooling is, is, is definitely gonna be better. I would think the waterless coolant would be overkill considering the heat of PC compared to a car. Oh yeah. PCs don't don't create nearly as much heat. It's less about, it's less important like how good water is, the water is at um, transferring heat and it's way more about how good your cooling plate is. Hey, you guys remember how I told you like I accidentally consumed some dairy today at lunch and I wasn't sure what was gonna happen? Well, my stomach is starting to feel kind of weird. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> that might have been a little bit too much information for you guys, but uh, it's just where we are today. It's just where we are. Poop break. I'm gonna try and make it to the end of the, the PC build, but I don't think I'll make it much further than that. I don't have a Zan cup with me? What the heck is that? He was like, I don't know if I like you anymore, Patrick. <laughs> That's funny. AMD 7800X 3D does not need a water cooler, also depends on your build. Intel has a tendency to run hot. Yeah. Yeah, I think with pretty much any PC or any CPU these days, you can pretty much get away with having an air cooler if you spec the right, like the right air cooler and use good thermal paste and stuff. Um, but yeah, some of it just does, comes down to like how you want your system to look and everything. There's no other like, things there. It's kind of frustrating. Used to test the viscosity of liquids. Oh. Well, it's all going to be in the spec sheets. Okay. Got all that. Let's get our motherboard power supply. See if we can stick it through this tiny space. There we go, got it. Okay, can you guys tell I'm rushing a little bit right now? Because I really want to get this completed before I have to run to the bathroom. <laughs> this, is a, this is a classic race against the clock situation, you guys. <laughs> okay. All right, we got that. Uh, we're gonna pull our SATA connector through here. The question is, how close do we push ourselves? <laughs> okay, got that. And uh, stick this through, maybe through the bottom. The only reason it crossed my mind was heat transfer and cavitation. 
Yeah. Okay. We're gonna make it, you guys. We're gonna make it. It's gonna be close, but we're gonna make it. Don't say push. <laughs> Let the dairy flow through you. Not yet. Can't let it flow yet. What's up, Fadeaway? How are you doing? Uh, maybe the chat can explain to you what's happening right now, because I can't stop. I can't stop and explain. ESD? What about, what about electrostatic discharge? What about it? My system to look banging. Yes, sir. It will. All right, this is a 4060 Ti, eight gigabyte. Um, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna stick it in this case as fast as we can. Someone, someone, chat, explain to you to fade away what's happening right now, please. Please, somebody tell him. All my focus is on getting this going. <laughs> Dairy consumption equals speed building. <laughs> yeah, I think that about sums it up. I think you get the gist here. Fade away. <laughs> it was a mistake. Uh, it was a lunchtime mistake. And I was, I got to this point in the day and I was like, oh, I think I'm going to be okay. I think everything's going to be totally fine. No. Nope. Nope. Okay. There we go. It's all trash. 4068 gigabyte. Boom. It's all good. This stuff's technically all plugged in. The cable management is not done, but we're we're running out of time here. So I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna get this fired up, okay? <laughs> all right, let's switch to this. Okay. Um, yeah, you guys are gonna have to hang out and entertain yourselves for a hot minute after this, because, uh, well, yeah, for obvious reasons, I think, at this point. Um, but yeah, here you go. Uh, 7700 XT, 4060 Ti, 32 gigs of RAM, and some other stuff. Okay, here we go. Wait, here we go. Okay, bye. Enjoy. Oh, I better take my microphone off, because that would be real weird. But I will be back, hopefully shortly.
We did it. <laughs> oh boy. What a day. What a day, Jack. Uh, also, I have one of these special pills here. Um, you might guess what it's for. So I'm gonna, I'm just, gonna, just gonna take this real quick. Also, you rebranded. Yes, I was gonna say it's a different name than one that I recognize. All right, hopefully that thing works quick. Okay. Mr. Beringer, thank you for the raid. Okay, I thought that's who it was, but I wasn't sure. Anarchy. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Kevin. <sighs> there we go. Kevin, thank you for the raid. Um, Mr. Beringer, thank you for the raid. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that was that was interesting. We made it. We made it. Uh, what card is in here? So this has a 4060 Ti, 8 gigabyte. Uh, we've got a Ryzen 7 7700X, 32 gigs of RAM, uh, two terabyte SSD, and a 750 watt power supply. Um, if you want to see all of this, the, the specs, type in exclamation point specs, and they're all in there. Um, yeah, we uh, we did it here, chat. We did it. <clears throat> let's uh, let's finish up the, the cable management here now that we've survived that ordeal. Um, I probably should turn it off before I do this. Kind of forgot that's still on. All right. I want to win a PC. Don't we all want to win a PC? Don't we all? All right. There's that. I think I should probably just kind of like take some of this stuff back up. Did I miss any codes for the giveaway? Uh, nope, we didn't. We didn't do anything today. I think we'll just do like one a week before before the uh, end of the month. Didn't notify you. Yeah, this is a nice. This is a nice little build for sure. What the heck, kick? Yeah, make sure your guys' noties are turned on. I don't know, maybe they got auto turned off somehow. Okay. So, as far as cable management goes, that looks a lot better. Day, chat. What a day. Front fans, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
figure out which cables these are. Okay. Let's take those down into here. There we go. Cool. There we go. That cable management is not too shabby, huh? Not too shabby. <clears throat> Yo, Andrew came in with the 10 gifted subs. I thought I missed it, but it just happened. Andrew, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Andrew's like, I'm winning that computer. He's fighting his way up to the top. <clears throat> That's also odd. It didn't count the 10 other ones. <clears throat> oh, I did count it. I count I counted it afterwards. It's not a it's it's not an automatic counter. I had to to count them all together. So I put I put them all in my spreadsheet and everything. No, it's completely manual right now. <clears throat> um, 4.35, it should be 4.30, it'll be 4.36, I think, because um, Sweaty Lobo dropped this up earlier too. Oh, the kick one. You mean like on your little, like the little badge on your profile or something? It says it's on my screen you've gifted 20 subs. I don't know about the like overall one. Oh, the lifetime ones. Yeah, I don't know about that one. It shows it on your little badge. Looking good, says Leander. Hey, thank you. Okay, so let's let's do this the right way. <clears throat> let's throw some more fire emojis in the chat. Let's uh, let's pretend that this is the first time so we're gonna we're gonna turn this on again, okay guys? We're gonna turn it on. Alright. Let's just pretend like we didn't turn this on before, and then we're gonna turn it on. Okay? It'll be easy. It's gonna be super simple, okay? Just wanna see a couple fire emojis in the chat. Show me you're excited. <clears throat> like it's the first time. <laughs> All right. Richard's excited at least. Dutana's excited. Turk's excited. All right, so we've got a Ryzen 7 7700X 3D. We've got 32 gigs of G-Skill DDR5 RAM. We've got, um, what else do we have? We got a 4060 Ti, eight gigabyte. Oh, is that not in there normally? Oh, it is great. We've got two terabytes of storage, an ASUS Tough motherboard, Team Group 360 millimeter AIO, 750 watt power supply from Seasonic, and the Fantex G360A case in white. All right. Totally the first ever power up. Definitely not the second one. There you go. <clears throat> Bloodbath, what are those emojis? I'm so confused. There it is. What do we think, chat? What do we think? How do you guys like the, the design of like this? Got the white case on the outside and then just like that stark contrast of the black interior. You think it looks pretty good? I think it looks pretty good. <clears throat> I 
Yep, these are all customer orders, man. I don't really do, um, at the moment, I don't do any builds that are not customer ordered. Richard says it looks good. Yeah. I really like the, the front of these Fantex cases too. I think they, they've got kind of a nice, just like it's simple, but it's kind of just, you know, some curves to it. Feels well made. They add in, you know, the RGB strip here too. It's classy. It's classy. It's great. Turk loves it too. Look at that. Look at that. Follow some crazy streamers with funny emojis. It's fine. It's totally fine. It's sexy. It's dead sexy. Okay. So. That truly is the end of the PC build. Uh, with no interruptions of any sort. Um, yeah. I, uh, I think it's time to play some video games. What do you guys think? You guys think it's time to play some games? Because I do. I think it's time. <clears throat> Dead shake shake. Who wants to come on over to kick and watch some bot on bot action? We're gonna play some video games. Hmm? What do we think? What do we think? Leader, you say you want yours to look like that? Bet. Bet. Totally doable. Okay, just gotta move my camera over here. Um, don't forget to check X when you get a chance. You want me to check X? I'm always on X. I will definitely be checking it after the stream. There is no doubt. Uh, what do you think about the Fantex XT Pro that I built in some days ago? Um, it's a good case. It's a much larger, it's like a significantly larger case than this one, I'd say. Um, I think the G360A might look a little bit better, but if you want the space of a little bit bigger case, the XT Pro is the, probably the way to go. What's your mic? You sound sexy. This is the DJI mic. Um, DJI, I think, has a new version of it now. Um, but yeah, this is the, the DJI mic. So you've got, what it comes with is this is like the microphone. This is like the actual microphone. You can see there. Um, you can connect this in like directly to like, I think you can record directly on your microphone. You can connect it basically directly to uh, like a cell phone or like I have it connected to its tran transceiver, whatever, receiver. Uh, and that is like the USB directly into my uh, my computer. So I have it as like a, an actual source in OBS. Uh, but yeah, it's a great mic. The one I bought has two microphones and a charging case. Uh, it's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, but yeah. Okay. Um, my stream mic too. Uh, it's from the, the brand is DJI Turk. Uh, if you shoot me a DM, I can, uh, I can give you like an affiliate link too. And you can pay the same price and, uh, I can get a little bit of, uh, I can get a little bit of money out of it, you know? Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. My other microphone that I use for stream is a, uh, a Shure microphone. It's a Shure 
The MV7. It's like the little brother to the, the big, big one. Okay, if you're hanging out on YouTube still, oh, I'm sorry. If you're hanging out on YouTube still, um, head on over to Kick if you wanna watch some video games. If you don't, thank you so much for tuning in. We will see you on the next stream. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, gotta go, bye, love you. See you later, Turk. Uh, okay, yep, that's it for YouTube. Thank you so much for hanging out. Come on over to Kick. We'll be, uh, we'll be playing some games over there, all right? Adios.